Hi, this is Chip Taylor, director of Monarch Watch here at the University of Kansas. I want to make you aware of a new IMAX production, a production that's just been started, uh, just making the rounds of the IMAX theaters in the United States. It's called Flight of the Butterflies. This production tells three stories. It tells the story of the annual migration of the monarch butterflies coming out of Mexico, uh, reproducing in Texas and in the southern states, and then a next generation moving up to the limits of milkweed, followed by a number of generations in the summer months, and then the migration back down in the fall to the overwintering sites again. A fantastic annual cycle involving millions of butterflies and a lot of interesting scientific details that we still don't understand. So this phenomena in itself is very incredible, and it's brought to you in vivid, vivid imagery on this IMAX production with the butterflies just coming out of the screen at you. You want to reach out and grab them as you're watching this film. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But there's another story here, and that's the story of the discovery of these overwintering sites. Fred and Nora Urquhart were involved in a long-term search for these uh, sites. They didn't even know there were such sites. They just knew that the monarchs were disappearing in the fall. They initiated a tagging program and enlisted, and this is the third story, citizen scientists all over the country to tag monarch butterflies to hopefully follow these tag recoveries to where the monarchs overwintered, and that succeeded. But it succeeded in part because they enlisted Ken and Kathy Brueger in Mexico to actually search for these sites, and they did, and they succeeded in the early months of 1975. So these three stories, the monarch migration, the discovery, and the citizen science are all important in this particular production, and it's really nicely done, and I hope you get to see it. But the implicit message in this production is that monarchs are in trouble, and they are. Populations are going down due to habitat loss, seriously down. We're down about half the number of monarchs at the overwintering sites than we saw in the 90s. And this is serious. We've got to maintain this migration. And to maintain this migration, we have to have programs that promote milkweed. We do this here at Monarch Watch. We have two programs called the Monarch Waystation Program and the Bring Back the Monarchs Program. The Monarch Waystation Program encourages people to put milkweeds in home gardens or any place where they have some control of the property. The Bring Back the Monarchs Program encourages people to restore milkweeds, about 20 different species throughout the country, uh, into areas in which they have been extirpated. You can learn a lot more about these programs by visiting our website. Oh, and one more thing about the film that I want to tell you, and that's important, and that is that about 40% of the profits are going to be used for monarch conservation in Mexico, and that's a real plus. Well, I hope you see the film, and I hope you hope monarchs. I hope you get some milkweed planted. If you want to know how to do it, please contact us. Thank you.